The final game of the Wild Card Weekend, we've got the Philadelphia Eagles versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, five versus six, which many, like myself, would not have expected after the 10-1 start by the Eagles, but it's been a rough end of the regular season, dropping five of their last six games, and also just playing very disconnected. Right now, although on paper they might have the better team, Tampa Bay is healthier, they're playing more together as a team, and there's a lot of key areas to keep an eye on. One, injury. The Eagles are without A.J. Brown. He would be back if the Eagles are able to advance past Tampa Bay into the next round. Eagles are also without Sidney Brown, who tore his ACL in the regular season finale against the Giants. Brown, who finished with a team high seven tackles on special teams. Devontae Smith is back, which is good news, as well as Darius Slay, who missed four games. Three of those games were losses. Slay did take to his podcast say he's going to be back, though. He's playing in this game Monday night. Also for the defensive side, something to keep an eye out for Tampa Bay, they blitz at the third highest rate in the league, which is huge for the Eagles to keep an eye on because they don't typically do a great job with pass protection and even play calling, making adjustments and getting open for Jalen Hurts. This is a veteran group for Tampa Bay. Todd Bowles is a great coach. This is the group that was a part of winning a Super Bowl just a couple of seasons ago. They've got a lot of talent. And that's what's helped Baker Mayfield have one of his best seasons. It feels like a resurrection of Baker Mayfield, who's thrown for over 4,000 yards, 28 touchdowns, and just 10 interceptions. Mayfield has also been a top quarterback in forcing missed tackles and being able to extend plays. Mayfield is dealing with injuries to his ribs as well as his ankle. Questionable. Seems like he will be a game-time decision, but regardless who's playing quarterback for Tampa Bay, it's important for the Eagles to make sure they're playing fast, aggressive, and pressuring the quarterback. Now, we haven't seen Philly be able to put together a full game this season. Hopefully, Monday will be that opportunity. Head coach Nick Sirianni actually made franchise record, becoming the first head coach to make three playoff appearances in his first three seasons. Let's hope that playoff appearance does not end Monday for the Eagles. But it should be interesting as to who wins this one. I'm still going to pull for the Eagles. I'm going to be biased, of course. But I could see this game going either way. Eagles for the win.